Beam down smoke. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Investment Odyssey. This is episode 8, and we have done some pretty insane stuff over the past week, and this market is just going really crazy right now, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that and make some new pickups for the portfolio. That being said, let's go ahead and get into this episode with a word from our sponsor. All right, guys, the sponsor for today's video is going to be Skinport.com. Skinport is a great site to use for buying items on the third-party marketplace. They're going to have very low selling fees at only 5% if you use Skinport in your name, which is going to be a lot lower than most of the competitors. They have over 100,000 items listed on the site, and they also have a very solid and fast UI that's going to make it an enjoyable and easy experience. So if you want to go ahead and invest in some items, be sure to check them out using the link in the description below, which will support the channel directly. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start off this episode by checking out the updated spreadsheet. So if you remember, I said that I wasn't going to sell anything until I'd made my initial investment of 500 USD. However, because of the crazy marketplace, it's just too good of an opportunity to pass up. And so we're going to go jump into the stuff that I sold after we check out the spreadsheet. So as you can see, we have some pretty exciting news with this updated spreadsheet we are very much so in the green just across the board and we are just making huge amounts of profit which is absolutely crazy so obviously i sold some of these items off because of the crazy hype i didn't sell everything of course but i did sell some of the items that were really doing well and did deserve to be sold off but yeah we didn't sell everything of course now if you look at the total value of the profit made or the total value of the current value of the items it actually is at the 900 range which is very very close to the 1000 mark that we're trying to get to now i do want to explain one thing because a lot of the items that I bought were bought off of buff for example there is one issue with the total value being in the 900 range and that's because it's all based off of the flat steam values so what I'm going to do to complete investment odyssey technically I could get it to a thousand and I would have still made huge amounts of profit and I would have still completed the challenge based on the original requirements but I think it's only fair to make it a thousand cash value so I do need to get it to a point where everything that is in that list is going to sell for that amount in cash that's really the only fair way to do things because if I were to base everything off of its buy price in cash value and then show it off in the steam value as its current value, I'd be abusing about a 30-35% profit margin there just because I would be buying with cash. So I do want to get it to an actual cash value of $1,000, so it's still going to be about one more episode or another two episodes maybe for the end of Season 1 of Investment Odyssey. So yeah, as you can tell, there is going to be a Season 2 of Investment Odyssey. That wasn't really private information, but it is something cool that I don't think everybody knows. So yeah, there's going to be a Season 2 of Investment Odyssey. Odyssey. I really enjoyed doing this series, and even though it's not fully over yet, we are getting to that range where we're going to have to start moving into Season 2. I'll explain some details later once we actually officially complete this challenge, and then we'll, you know, move into Season 2 from there. That being said, I'm anticipating about one or two more episodes for Season 1 before we are officially at that $1,000 cash value. Anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and look at some of the specifics of this actual spreadsheet. So as you can see, there was only really one thing that actually declined in price. Everything else pretty much shot up. The market in general was doing very, very well over the past week or so and that's actually what caused me to start selling off some of this stuff now as you can see on the end values there we got a total profit this week of over 114 dollars that obviously is absolutely huge and it is of course a new record for this series so far that gives us a total overall profit of over 200 dollars and that of course is for four investment periods so that doesn't track the other four investment periods because this is eight episodes obviously so there's still going to be of course four others that weren't tracked this was of course starting from the recent episode where we started to actually track the investment periods. Now this huge profit here is largely due in part to the fact that there was a huge manipulation spree across the marketplace which actually spawned a huge hype spree. So basically people saw that these items were being manipulated and they thought oh these items are rising really fast I gotta buy into them which caused a lot of the buy orders to also shoot up which was actually really good because it actually stabilized a lot of the manipulated items. So a lot of really weird things happening there it was just because the manipulation was so widespread that it ended up actually causing a huge hype train as well. So a lot of these items are actually sitting pretty solid at their current value. Values. So that was definitely an interesting thing to see and of course we were able to profit quite a lot off of it because we were able to go into a lot of those stickers. Anyway that being said let's go ahead and get into the new stuff for this episode. If you want a little bit more information about this manipulation that's been occurring I made two videos on it so far so go check those ones out and that's going to be it for that. Alright guys so what did we sell? We sold everything that you see up on screen right now which is actually a pretty decent amount of stuff. We were able 
to come away with 1,000 buff balance, so that's about 143 USD. So that's really, really cool. We were able to sell off about 143 cash worth of items. So as I'm still deciding how Season 2 is going to be structured, this buff balance right here may or may not go into Season 2, or it may just calculate towards our total profit here for our total cash value. Okay, guys, so now that we're looking at this buff balance here, I'm actually going to go ahead and mention how we're going to calculate if we actually hit that 1,000 cash value goal or not. So we're actually going to take the buff balance and we're going to turn it into USD and that's going to determine if we actually hit that 1000 USD goal after we sell everything that's in the investment odyssey storage unit on buff. So as you can see right here, the total yuan that we're going to need to actually hit our goal is going to be 6,642 yuan to actually hit that goal. Now as you can see, this is actually 950 USD, not 1000 USD. The reason for that is because I went ahead and did a 5% off calculation because buff is very, very cheap, a lot cheaper than the normal cash value of a lot of other sites. So the 950 USD is actually going to be equivalent to about 1000 cash in general. Hopefully that made sense. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but just trust me, it works out. All right, now that we've done a pretty in-depth discussion about the spreadsheet and also the future of season one, and we've also taken a look at what we've sold for this episode and how much RMB we earned off of it, let's go ahead and move into our new pickups. So the new pickups for this episode are actually pretty light. The reason for that is because we are very, very close to hitting our initial value. It is a little bit off on the spreadsheet. It says we're at a little bit over $500, but we're actually about to hit $500 in reality. The first light pickup for this episode is going to be the Navi Cologne 14 non-hollow. The reason for this is because this is one of those items that didn't get too hit with the manipulation slash hype wave, and I think it's still going to be an item that has a little bit of room to grow over the next month or so. It's a really good looking sticker, and obviously it's going to follow how good Navi does, and obviously Navi's been doing very good recently, so I think it's a pretty safe pickup in terms of stickers, and it's from Cologne 2014 of course as well. I was able to pick this up for about 10 USD on Steam, and I think it does have a little bit of room to grow still. I think it's actually good that we're doing some light pickups for this episode because the market is just so crazy, it's really hard to find stuff to actually invest into. That being said, I'm actually going to be putting out a video on the investments that you can actually make with this crazy marketplace and some stuff that still has some room to grow because I think a lot of people are wondering what they can put their money into based on how much profit they're actually going to be making off of this hype. So if you're pretty confused on what to buy into now that the market has risen so much and you've already made profit, then look out for that video. Now guys, moving on to the second pickup for this video, it's going to be the M4A4 Jungle Tiger with a pretty good float and field tested condition and it actually has a Hellraiser's Katowice 2014 hollow on the mag. I think one beneficial thing here is the fact that Katowice 2014 items are so expensive that they aren't really going to be affected by manipulation or hype in the marketplace just because people can't really buy them up like crazy. So one good thing about this is that it actually hasn't really been affected by this recent change in the markets and it's actually going to be a solid item to pick up because of that. We were actually able to get this item very cheap at 450 RMB, a very cheap price for what the item actually is. So we were able to pick up this item for a little under 2% sticker price basically and I think we're going to be able to get about 3% sticker price out of it because it is best position. It is a hollow and it is on an M4A4. Now although we were able to avoid some manipulation with this purchase, the main risk that we took on is the fact these are pretty hard to sell because they are Cato items that are already applied to the item itself. So finding a buyer for these is going to be a little bit hard, but I think we're still going to be able to do it. And with that, surprisingly enough, that's going to actually complete our initial investment of about 500 USD. That being said, we're going to make this 1000 USD or technically 950 USD goal happen by selling off some of these items strategically in order to either buy into new items that could see more frequent rises or to just sell them off and actually hit our goal in general. That being said, there's probably going to be only about one or two more episodes of Investment Odyssey Season 1 because we are very close to hitting that goal and I'm actually going to be doing a full calculation of the cash value right now. So with a couple outliers because they are going to be a little bit more subjective prices, this is actually what we're looking at for our total portfolio value. So this is what buff gives us for our total value of the inventory, which is pretty close to what we need to be at. Now there are a few problems with this though. This value is actually the steam price of all of the items in our inventory and it's kind of turned into a yuan value. So the main problem here is that it's not going to be accurate for how much yuan we're actually going to make out of this inventory. So what we're actually going to do is do a little bit of a calculation here to figure out a more accurate value because this isn't going to be very accurate. So the way we're going to find an accurate value for this inventory is we're going to take an item in the buff inventory and we're going to find out what the difference is with its marketplace price versus its inventory price. So as we can see here, this op Cortisera is worth about 150 yuan in the inventory and then it's worth about 100 yuan on the actual buff marketplace. So that's about 66% of its value in the inventory. So we take that 66% and we find out what that 66% is of our overall inventory value, we get this number. And as you can see, we do have 1,000 yuan in the bank already. So if we add that on, we get this number. And then it also doesn't factor in the Katowice 2014 items that we have. So if we actually factor in what they're going to probably sell at, which is about 500 yuan each, so about 1,000 total, we get this number.
this number. So as you can see, we're very, very close to our total value. We're going to have a margin of error of about 200 yuan or so, just to kind of you know figure out the actual sell prices for a lot of these items, because some are going to sell higher than the 66% point, and some are going to probably sell lower than the 66% point. Now the number you see up on screen is actually an extremely conservative estimate, because I actually believe these Kadavi 2014 items are going to sell for a lot more than 500 yuan each, and I also think that their 200 margin of error is actually being subtracted from this total value, so there's actually going to be a, probably a higher value than what we're looking at right now for the total inventory value, but as you can see, regardless, it's very close to where we need to be. This is worth about 886 USD total, so we're very, very close to that 950 point, so that's why there's probably only going to be one more episode or two. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the updated spreadsheet and also the updated storage unit. Obviously, this previous week has been very, very kind to us and gotten us very close to our total goal, and we're going to see where that takes us. Hopefully, we are able to hit that 950 USD desired price point on buff. Keep in mind, I'm not going to be using buff for my own personal transactions going forward. I'm just going to be selling off anything from the inventory that I think is worth selling off and then going from there. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed and let's go ahead and close off the video. And that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out this episode of Investment Odyssey. We are only about one or two episodes away from the finale, so make sure you're looking out for that. The best way to look out for that, of course, is to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the upload when it actually happens. And also be sure to check out the future uploads, especially with investing into this current marketplace, which I'm going to be making a video on pretty soon. Leave me a like and a comment on what some of your favorite moments from Investment Odyssey were since we are coming to the close of it, and we are going to see what happens with Season 2 in the future. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you check out Skinport and some of the other links for my socials in the description below and you guys can connect with me there. Anyway guys, thanks so much for checking out this video and I'll see you all next time. Peace.